does have boxes like this stored away in the garage. I have Christmas gift bags, I have class present ideas, tissue paper, I have Christmas cards and this is what we're talking about in this video. We are going to be talking about Christmas. It might seem too early but not if you're trying to save money. I always talk about Christmas in September because I'm a planner and I find the best way to keep the cost of Christmas lower is to plan ahead. All of these, all of these cards, I paid 10 pence for in the January sales or the Boxing Day sales, should I say. Oh, I'm losing them. And these are going to be perfect for my children. I don't tend to do many cards just to my very close family. So these are going to be classmate cards. And for 10 pence each, I wasn't going to leave them there. I'm going to go through a few of my tips for keeping Christmas costs low. I've got a, a couple that might be helpful to someone. And yeah, let's crack on with this video. Whilst I chat to you, I'm going to be making some little Christmas gifts. Little hoop costume jewellery earrings for my daughter to gift to her friends and classmates. So I'm, while I crack on with that, I'm going to... Tell you some of my tips and tricks for having an affordable Christmas. Seeing as I'm making gifts, that can be tip number one. If you are handy, if you're crafty, if you want to make gifts, start now. September, that gives you a good few months until Christmas to do it. You don't want to be rushing in December or thinking about in December and if you are a crafter you will know that certain things do become more expensive nearer holidays because people, well the stores know, the businesses know that crafters will be making the gifts around them. So now's the time to get your list sorted, everybody who you buy for, what you're buying, if you're making something, get it sorted and down on paper so you know what you're doing. Even if you're just trying to keep costs low and make things like little hot chocolate um, pouches, you know, the ready-made ones in the little cellophane baggies or you're planning on gifting food items, now's the time to think about it. Maybe put money aside to buy it or if you can buy your ingredients now, buy them a little each week and just um, spread the cost of it because that's the main thing is spreading the cost of Christmas. So December isn't such a tough month financially or in my case you feel like January lasts weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and talking about saving money my next tip is really this could be started in January or from Christmas to Christmas I have a sinking fund where I add money to a pot so that Christmas doesn't become too expensive for me um, but starting now is better than not starting at all so if you don't have a sinking fund maybe think about it even if you can only put a little bit away and a sinking fund means that um, you build up your money for a certain event a certain goal and obviously when you use it it sinks and then you refill it again so I have them for school uniform birthdays Christmas I have a savings pot just as a savings pot like an emergency fund and yeah it is really really good idea if you need to save money for Christmas I think most of us do to start that from Christmas to Christmas but like I said starting now is better than not starting at all and getting you don't have to if you're living paycheck to paycheck most of us are you might not have all the extra money to fill like put away each month because I know I get a lot of comments like yeah, what if you don't have that money believe me I am not flush we are a low income household with two of us working so what we do is obviously we sell items we don't want so that is my number one tip is to declutter your house now in September any items you don't want or you don't need, sell them. Make your Christmas money. Any items you don't need, don't keep them. Get them listed on Vinted, Facebook Marketplace. If your local area does 
um, tabletop sales or are still doing car boot sales it's a great way of filling up that Christmas pot without actually using your income or if you are a crafter get crafting use what you have sell your items all that money can go into your Christmas pot so starting now build up your money until Christmas is a great way to go about it I know people who from sort of this time of year will start picking up an extra shift at work or just add a couple of hours on to a shift and that extra money that overtime goes into their Christmas fund me and my husband are not able to do that due to childcare and things but yeah that is an option if you can do that if you're worried about funding Christmas getting Christmas presents for your children but again that's not always possible a lot of businesses have a cap on overtime etc but if it is possible a couple of hours here and there you could fill up your Christmas sinking fund if you started your sinking fund the next thing to think about is how you're going to source your gifts so my children tell me around September time well I ask them is there anything specific you want this year and it's easier for my youngest because he is six and you could just buy him any toys and he'd be happy but and they usually have an idea don't they of something they want whether it be a bike or a scooter or something teenagers are harder to buy for because things change trends change but overall my daughter will give us a gist of what she wants would like for Christmas and I also get my children to write their Christmas list pretty early from now because my daughter's birthday is coming up in November so she tends to write an extra long list and we just sort of divvy up and we have a lot of people in my family who like to buy my children gifts which we're really grateful for and they always say if there's something on the list we're happy to buy it and that really really helps us out but knowing early what presents you want especially if they're the big ticket items that is helpful for things such as Black Friday sales. We don't go rushing out into stores, online Black Friday sales. Keep an eye on when they are for your, certain stores have them at different times. They're roughly the same time. But if you are buying things, electronics, like iPads, phones, Kindles, wait for those sales. You will get them with money off. Don't buy them full price. Also, starting early means you can actually shop secondhand. So shopping secondhand becomes easier the earlier you start. So if, just for instance, your child asks for a laptop and you can't afford a brand new one, can you get a refurbished one that's a lot cheaper? Um, is somebody selling one in the local area that's a lot cheaper you can keep an eye out on the sites on Vinted I get a lot of my daughter's Christmas presents on Vinted because she sends me things links to things she wants and I put them in my basket and um, yeah it's great to shop secondhand especially places like Vinted especially refurbished electronics and now is the time to start looking this one of you I like those colours, the grey tone. Now I've got to do another one that matches. So Christmas isn't just about presents either, is it? It's about the food, it's about the drink. And again, if you look in the stores now, they are getting their Christmas aisles sorted even before Halloween. And now is the time, if you see, such as Tesco's do club card offers and things, if you see Christmas food, um, chocolates, some alcohol on offer, you can buy it now, even if you just take a fiver off your shopping each week, or even add one item to your food shop that's Christmas related, check the date, make sure it's past Christmas, and you can store it away, have a Christmas cupboard, <laughs> as I do, and start filling that slowly slowly and that you it will take a big chunk off of your final Christmas shopping bill it's also good now to think about who's hosting Christmas and if that's the case why not if everyone's struggling a little bit with money cost of living crisis and all that all agree to bring a part of the meal so the host may do the turkey someone else may do all the vegetables and trimmings someone else might bring 
um, the pudding, um, someone could bring the crackers even, um, alcohol, everyone could bring a bottle, but get those plans in place now so nobody is confused and it's also good now to say if you can't afford presents this year, if you only sorting your own children out, to say this to your family and friends, this year let's not do presents for each other or this year let's set a budget, maybe fiver, tenner, whatever you can afford so that everyone's on the same page and no one feels silly at Christmas time because, you know, saying it now, stating it outright, I bet there's a lot of people who would actually be relieved, think, oh, thank goodness you said that because I can't afford it either. And it just puts everybody on the same page. Or maybe organise a secret Santa so everyone's just buying the one present and set a limit for it. Or even, what is it, a, what is it, a white elephant exchange where everybody buys somebody something that's second hand for a certain you set a limit, ten pound or whatever, and you can play games and whatnot. But it's good to have that plan in place now before people start looking in sales and buying things, and you know, because now people do start thinking about Christmas, whether they like to admit it or not, because Christmas can be really expensive. So setting yourself a budget with friends and family, do that now, it cuts the stress out, and. Um, I, yeah, I do believe everybody would be quite relieved if you're kind of in the same situation or if you're not, it's not, you don't feel bad buying somebody something of less value and then they splurge on you or the other way around. So it's no, it's there. Everyone's decided this is how much we're spending and nobody feels, you know, a bit silly or because we all know that a lot of the time Christmas is just for show. People are trying to be do bigger and better than other people and that is not what it's supposed to be about. And sometimes we have to remember that and remind ourselves that it's the thought that counts and people should be happy with that and if they're not that's no fault of yours. Going back to um, the sales there, you can find lists online already of when the different supermarkets are having their toy sales and a lot of them are different times so you need to check up on it. I haven't got all the info. I could, I'll look it up and I'll put it on my community, community tab on YouTube if I find one about when the different toy sales are on. Especially if you've got younger children when you can pick up things that they'll just be happy with, remote control, cars, games, puzzles, and they're like five pound, 10 pound, that's where you can get your filler items. That brings me on to my next point. If you have children, have a list for like your budget, obviously, but I'm talking more, decide what your budget is for a main present, and then get lots of little presents as fillers. So that leads me on to my next tip, which I use for my children, is they get one main present and then they get some things off their list. Santa brings some things. Santa tends to bring the smaller things in my household because he can't bring everybody big toys. And, you know, a stocking and some things under the tree from Santa and then family and mum and dad buy the other things. And, um, you know, it's oh, somebody at the door. Sorry. Sometimes when you've spent out, especially if you've got teenagers, it doesn't look a lot. And this is where filler presents come in. And you don't want to buy stuff that's just rubbish. You want to buy stuff that people use. But I find filler items my kids love just as much as the other items. So colouring books pencils the stocking filler type of items for my son's birthday we got a lot of stuff off Timu and I'm talking things that are like 50p 70p the little parachute guy the little rocket blasters little fidgets they went down a treat he played with them more than like he's got a basketball hoop that was his main present he played with the little filler items that cost us pence more than the other stuff my daughter she likes Timu for things, makeup, press on nails, uh, what do you call them, hair clips, jewellery, new socks. She 
loves it. She sends me links herself for Timu items and literally they're like 70p a pound. So when you've got them all together, even if you set a budget, right, I'm going to get £10 worth of filler items for each of my children. One pound item each, whether you get that from the charity shop, whether you go to Poundland, whether you get it from Timu Vinted, whatever you get it from, that's 10 presents, 10 one pound presents. I think if you're sticking to a budget and you want it to look like you've got your kids a nice little little bundle, little filler items are perfect and I bet you'll find they'll play with them, use them more sometimes than the bigger stuff. Don't worry if you don't have a huge budget, you can make it work and the kids will be happy and they don't remember what you spent on them, they just remember the feeling you create at Christmas. And that's probably my final point now is that Christmas is about making memories, it's not about spending money and yes it's while it's great that we can provide for our children if you need to buy second hand items that's fine if you need to explain to family that you can't afford to buy presents this year but maybe you can all do something together go for a walk um do a family karaoke night something like that that's fine it's about making memories and spending time together and what you can do is absolutely fine that's your best your best is enough and I want to leave that as our final point and thank you for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next video bye